These fish are top-level predators that will eat anything in their path. They can travel across land and live out of water for three days. Snakeheads reportedly even attacked humans. Attacked humans. Attacked humans. This just sort of took off and, and it exploded with the media. People were calling in and, and saying, do we have to worry about our children being attacked on the way to school? Can we leave our pets outside in the yard or will the snakeheads eat them? Meanwhile, scientists from the Fish and Wildlife Department feared that these snakeheads could unleash ecological havoc. And in a bid to wipe them out, they poisoned an entire pond, killing every last fish. Yet despite efforts to exterminate them, northern snakeheads are now established in five states across the eastern US. Media hype is one thing, but when a government is spending millions of dollars to fight a fish, you know you've got a serious problem. I never expected that I'd be fishing in a quiet residential area for fish that have been branded worse than piranhas. I'm in South Florida, just a few miles from where snakeheads first showed up. To catch one of these alien invaders, I'm using a lure that imitates live prey. Most baits and lures, you've got the, uh, the hook exposed, but uh, here, if a fish grabs it, that's what happens. I hook up with local guide, Alan Zaremba, an experienced snakehead angler. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, there's one. Ah. Oh, no more. Ah. First cast, and the frog had a huge, uh, huge lump of salad with it as well, and the fish went for uh, meat and veg, but uh, didn't hook up. Ah, that was a hit and a yeah, miss. That's another snakehead. The problem with, with the snakeheads when they attack, you get one shot at them. They don't right. come back for a second shot. But what, I mean, what do they eat? I mean, it's not just fish, is it? They'll eat anything that's moving uh, that they can ambush. The adults at least appear to be lone hunters. They seem to love these shallow areas, especially when you get some weeds piled up so they get up underneath the weeds. Did you see that? Yeah, let drop, let drop. And set the hook. Yeah, that is a fish on. I've hooked my first snakehead. And what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for with attitude. Oh. There we go. That's it. Oh, a bullseye snakehead. So now I've actually got my hands on one of these things, I can see why it's called a snakehead. Very long, thin, still muscular fish. I think very often, you know, fish which are long, and quite snake-like, you know, do give quite strong fights. And this particular one is called a bullseye snakehead. It's got this eye spot on the tail. Have a look inside the mouth. There we go. That's definitely the mouth of a predator. All those teeth there. And it's not just smaller fish that it eats, it eats things like frogs. I mean, that's what I was using, an imitation frog, but also things like lizards, rats, even small ducks. These fish are clearly carnivorous, but do they deserve their reputation for extreme aggression. Literally, as we sort of pulled it in, in the net, it's actually given birth to two live young. One problem about here, it's the border between two countries, Thailand and Laos. I might have possibly strayed.